Hey, it's Pulse with Pioneer, and this video was all about the DJM 2000 with Tractor in Windows. Now, we had a Mac version of this, and somebody said, hey, you can make a Windows version, so here you are. So let's talk a little bit about the setup first. We've got the DJM 2000, we've got a pair of CDJ 2000s, and the reason for that is that the DJM 2000 was designed with a uh, multiple output sound card rather than an input sound card. So what this means for you is time code CDs do not work, which is why we're using the CDJ 2000s is they have a MIDI HID support for Tractor. So what you need to download is a DJM 2000 drivers, the DJ uh, CDJ 2000 drivers, and uh, a version of Tractor uh, version 2 or newer. Uh, I believe the current version is 2.3 as of this recording. So once you've got those installed, let's uh, fire up the DJM 2000 settings utility. Now you can see your configuration options here. Four outputs, zero inputs, three in outputs, one input, three outputs, zero inputs, and that's a 24 and 60, uh, 24 and 16 bits. I'm using the three in one, which allows me to record back in from the mixer uh, into the software. So that's, that's an option because we're using an external mixer mode. Uh, if you want to record your set, that's what you need to use. If you do make any changes here, if you change it and uh, then click OK, it'll take a second for it to apply, and then it'll actually close the window on its own. The CDJ uh, utility you do not need to run, uh, but we will talk about the CDJs in just a minute. So uh, before we get there, let's go into Tractor. Once Tractor is loaded, the first thing we're going to do is actually run the Setup Wizard. Go into Help and Start Setup Wizard, and provided you have your USB devices connected, that would be your DJM and CDJs, click Next. If you're using an external controller, change that to yes, click next, change the manufacturer to Pioneer, and select either the CDJ2000 or 900 if that's what you're using. Click next, and select the configuration you want. I'm going to go with two track decks because that's what I'm setting up here. Click next and finish. And what will happen is it will automatically go and make changes based on what you have just selected. But we now go into the preferences. Check your audio setup is configured for the DJM 2000, and you can change your sample rate if you so desire. I'm going to check my output routing and change it to an external mixer. Output deck A is 1 and 2. Deck B will be 3 and 4. If you're using more than that, you could actually configure 5 and 6 for deck C. Now my input routing, you can see I've got the DJM 2000 input, and I have my microphone running through there, so that's why the levels are showing in the input, which tells me that it's working correctly. So the last thing to do is check on the controller manager, and we're going to check and make sure that the CDJs are, are configured there, which they are. And now let's actually go to the CDJs to make the changes necessary to the, the player settings so they can communicate with the software. To configure the CDJ, what we need to do is go into the utility menu, press and hold the menu button, and you'll see it come up. And the third one down is the HID setting. We need to switch this from advanced to standard in order for it to work with a uh, tractor. The other thing you can do is actually change your MIDI channel. What I do is I match each of mine to the player number. So in this case, it's uh, it's MIDI channel 3 for player number 3. You can independently adjust these on each of the players, and the player number as well, but you do need to remove any USB devices as well as network connections in order to be able to change it, otherwise it will lock the player setting. Once you've done that, press the link button, and then you can see on the screen it says press uh, push to connect. So you push the rotary encoder, and now you can see on the message on the screen says turn encoder. So when I turn the encoder, it's going to give me the options for deck A, B, C, and D. This is the right deck, so I'm going to assign that to deck B. Push the encoder, and you can see the track that I've got loaded up actually connects and shows the, the track information in the display. As you can see, I now have full control of that, that deck with the CDJ that I've just configured, and if I were able to reach the left CDJ, I would be able to do the control for the left deck as well for deck A. So that's uh, that's pretty much all you need to do to configure it. If you are recording, you can find that under the extended mix, uh, the extended view under the cassette here. Uh, I do not have mine uh, set up for recording because this is a demo version of Tractor, but uh, that is pretty much all you need to do because we've already set up the input to come back in. So if you have any other questions, do hit us up in the forums. I'm Pulse with Pioneer.